what you are seeing defies either the science that we have been taught or you and I have been lied to. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our son. Now, Steve Olson and I, we take a lot of flack and quite frankly, I could care less. Um, listen, if you think something is a lens flare or something else, fine, but keep your opinion to yourself. Because <laughs> if you believe it that much, go start your own YouTube channel and uh, see how people come support you. But let's get back to this because Steve Olson and WSO will be doing a more in-depth uh, program on this. I'm bringing this to your attention because, folks, we've got real problems. So everyone in NASA, and you'll hear everyone that studies the sun and the solar weather will tell you, well, we're just doing natural adjustments to the SDO satellite. And um, you're going to see these what appear to be eclipses as they continue to adjust it annually. Fine, no problem. But how do you explain two eclipses at the same time? This is not a camera anomaly. Now, if you're going to say that this is the camera anomaly, okay, if this is what you're saying is part of the adjustments to the SDO uh, cameras, fine. But please explain this to me. What is this? Maybe things are not as they have told us they are. Study this, look at it, because this one's pretty hard to come across. And I'm sure someone will give you uh, a logical explanation, I'm sure. However, no matter what explanation, no matter what is said, the possibility has to be considered. There's something going on, folks. Something on a scale that most of us neither want to believe or care to hear about. But I'm telling you, explain this.